All right, I'm at Lowe's. I'm not a Lowe's kind of girl. I like Home Depot. I think Lowe's is geared more towards women, but uh, we're gonna build. It is. It's geared towards women and upgrading your houses and make it fancy. And it's a pain to navigate Lowe's. Anyways, we're going to uh, build the box. I'm gonna put two by fours in here and then make side walls. And then I'm gonna steal the tarp off my other box and put it on top of this. Um, Cause it's a mesh tarp. So I'll just use that. That was new last year, so it'll be good this year. I'm going to go ahead and mount my blower up here. So we're gonna get the material and go from there. Here's what I'm looking for when I'm building the box. I want the material to last, but I want it to be cheap. <laughs> it's important, it's gonna be cheap. All right, so what do we want? We want cheap two by fours. And uh, so we got three on each side, so we're gonna need six. One brace coming across. So I'm gonna grab like 10 or 12. And then if you mess it cut up, it's no big deal. And two by fours are always good to have laying around. This is 264 two by four. And I already screwed up. I got 272. Now the other lesson to learn here is while I'm doing the hard work making this video, my wife's gotta push the cart. All right, now when you're looking for plywood, uh, what I would suggest staying away from is the particle wood. So the wood made out of the chips. Yeah, looks like that on the outside. Stay away from this crap, that's indoor. And then this is too thin. You want a thick board, thick like this. So we want to stay away from this crap because when it gets wet, it's just going to peel apart and it's it's not even gonna last it won't last into your second season now this up here is what i'm getting okay and it's kind of the same thing it's a laminate base but it'll last a lot longer this is what's on my black chevy it's lasted several years that's what i'm gonna get So what I have here are the base posts. They're gonna support the sidewalls.
right, it's uh, very cold. We had our first frost this morning. I had to come in and scrape the windows off on the car to take my daughter to school, which means the leaves are gonna be dropping fast. I'm starting to see them everywhere, and uh, I gotta get this ready, man. Now, I've thought about taking this rig out and just using it for a while. Now, here's the big plus side. As you see the two different trucks and it all comes down to the bed so this one's a flat bed which allows me to build the box on top of it and this one's a truck bed and i obviously built the box on top but i've got these sides that i have to deal with and i'm gonna have to be dumping out the back i've never really worked with one in the past like that but yeah it might be a nightmare the big plus side to the flat bed is i could pop i mean i just i've got this board i pop this off and then I pull these latches up and it would open to the side. And then once I do that, I got one door that swings that way, one that swings that way, and I can just unload it to the side with the trailer on so I never have to take the trailer off. And that allows me to take the mower with me, have my blowers, and which I mean you'd have your blowers with you anyways, but it allows me to take the mowers and load that down with sticks and everything else and I can keep the box straight leaves. So this is going to be a pain when I go to dump. If I keep the tailgate on there, there's not much space for the debris to actually go. So I can kind of jackknife this maybe um, and work with it. We'll just have to see. I've never really used this kind of setup. I have used a box, but I haven't used a box in a regular truck bed like this before. I've had short walls where I went up a couple feet, but never, never quite like this. They've always been pretty even with the cab. Now, I measured up the flatbed's box, and I believe it's 180 something cubic feet. Um, basically, it's three foot high by eight by eight. This one is six foot wide by um, six foot high and eight foot long. So it should be 288 cubic feet, uh, which is a, a good amount of space. I'm happy with that. Alright, at this point, almost everything's done with the box. Uh, it's all kind of dry fit in. I'm gonna go ahead and paint it and then assemble it back together. So, I gotta take the tarp off. Uh, well, just get it above and then kind of go from there. So, here's where we're at. I've got a piece that's here. It's gonna go here and it's got a window for my back uh, section that made out of the tarp. Um, we're gonna take off all the ding rings when we go to paint it. And then the tarp will just be put up top. These will come off while we're doing that. Um, now what I do is I will actually take these and down here they're going to get crimped on so that they're always here. And uh, I'll make, you know, put little, little screws in or something so that I can mount these and they're not, you know, flying around hitting my truck. But if you put them on here, 
and you ever put the tarp up in the box, what happens is these will actually stab the tarp and uh, it just makes for a pain. Now, on the back side, what I've done is you can see this little box there. I'm going to, once it's painted, I'm going to uh, frame that section out and then I'm going to cut the inside out and staple it there. And uh, so basically, my tarp won't be able to come off. And it's got D rings underneath. Okay. And what that allows me to do is actually lift this up and then pull this tight. Pull this tight because I tried doing just putting um, bungees on these holes and taking them down. But then what I had is the tarps going like this, and that's just going to give too much um, space there. Uh, I don't like the idea of this back wall being mesh. One is as it fills up, it's a lot of weight, so it's going to stretch this tarp out a lot. So I might have to do some mid-season adjustment. Um, but the other thing is, it's going to be, as it fills up, it's going to be blasting dust on me. While I'm loading, it's going to be blasting a bunch of dust on me. Um, because, you know, fine particles will come through here. So when the wheat leaves are wet, they'll just kind of blast through. But when they're a little more dry and they haven't been rained on yet, you're going to get a ton of dust. Um, you'll get dust when it's wet, but just not as much. So it's, it's almost nice to have it a little bit. So basically, back wall on the side with the truck there will be a window for me to actually see through. And uh, yeah, hose will come through up top. My vacuum will be mounted here on the edge because uh, my tube's just long enough to hit the ground. So yeah, kind of a nightmare, but it's thrown together last minute. Next year, the flatbed will be going on this. If you want a bed for a Ford 2004 Super Duty, you can have it. So the box is pretty much done. I've uh, got one more piece that goes on there, but it's already cut, painted, prepped, ready to go. It's just gotta put it up there and screw it in. Um, and then, yeah, so fasten back down the uh, tarp. And then the last thing I have to do is transfer my leaf back. Now I will do a video on this where it's just talking about this. Um, this is a, uh, it's a cyclone rate back that I, turn into a leaf vac, okay? And it's got a metal impeller from a parking lot blower. 
and uh, I upgraded the engine because the six and a half blew so I put the 420 cc I think that works out to about uh, 14 horsepower somewhere around there 13 and a half whatever uh, I put that on there this is kind of ghetto but I had to get it up and over and leave me enough room for the air breather so that was the downside on on raising this up anyways so all that said I will talk about that but I'm gonna have to mount that on top of the trailer right right here and then the hose is going to go into there and I needed to paint this before I did that because I'm putting the tarp on there and then I will um, box that out with some wood and then cut the inside out so that I can feed it in there uh, it's gonna be a nightmare dumping it but whatever um, yeah so so when it's all done tomorrow it's I gotta stop for a couple hours we're gonna go to a Halloween parade and then we're gonna do some trick-or-treating with my daughter but as soon as all that's done um, and you know the inevitable tomorrow rolls around then I will be finishing it up and hopefully doing a leaf removal or two tomorrow all right so yesterday I got everything painted and kind of dry fit it up I painted this part that's gonna go here and uh, didn't dry fit it after cutting it so you know, worst case scenario, I gotta shave some off, it's all good. But I'm gonna slip that in, screw it in. I'm gonna slip it in. <laughs> but no, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in there and then screw it down. And then one of the last things we gotta do, which is probably one of the most important things I should have checked before actually moving forward, is I've gotta mount the blower, the vac, the loader, whatever you wanna call it, right here. It's got to be close to the edge so I can actually, my hose will reach the ground. I bought a new hose this year, thinking I was going to be using the Chevy. And I was like, oh, this would be nice because I'm going to have this really long hose that will reach down and I can get all these leaves. And now I'm putting it up, you know, <laughs> three foot higher. So, yeah, so much to that. Because before my hose was right on the back of the truck, you know. But my hose barely reached the ground. Oh, hard times when you don't have a long hose. <laughs> it gets to work.
leaf box is complete. Um, we've got the backing lines hooked up. Everything's ready to go. I have gotten to try it out already, and it works. Well, you're just going to have to wait until the next video, man. So, you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you soon. Please like and subscribe. I'm out.